Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Hello, everyone, and welcome into the first day of the MCPS Invite. We're at Larchmont Golf Course. I'm Chris Stratton with the Missoula Prep Sports Network, and we've got the top four golfers for the boys' side. Uh, Joe Opitz of Sentinel. We've got Ezra Epperly of Flathead, Luke Thompson of Helena, and Kaven Noctar, correct? Noctor, okay, of Butte. I'm going to start with you, Kaven. Uh, you were the top golfer from what I've heard today. And I've heard some of your comments here with some of the, the coaches and with some of the guys. What was it about uh, the course today that you really that really clicked in for you? Well, I was just like, I was putting really well. Missed a couple short ones, but that happens. And then was chipping it, couldn't have chipped any better. Great, got off to a great start and just made some birdies at the beginning. Now, most of you guys' events start earlier in the afternoon on the first day, but you guys had a 3.30 start time, which gets you out here. We've got the sunset going on here in Missoula. Um, does that affect the way the ball is played? Not really, no. Maybe the wind will pick up a little bit more, but other than that, no, the wind wasn't too bad today. Only had a couple holes. Now you go to Canyon River tomorrow. Have you golfed Canyon River, and what changes do you think you'll have to make? No, I have not golfed Canyon River. I heard it's a little bit easier than than this course, and I don't know. Pretty much the same game plan. Be aggressive. Already, Luke Thompson of Helena uh, out there golfing today. What was the good part of your game today? Uh, I hit a couple good drives, a couple good putts, a couple stuff in between. So it, it didn't exactly work out for me today, but some things were there that I can puzzle together and hopefully play better tomorrow. So. Last year you guys kind of were able to let the, co the coaches were able to come out and do some coaching with golf and this year the, the parents get to be spectators. Did that affect the way the game was going? Did you like having the parents out there? Uh, I, I didn't mind it particularly but it, it was nice having company out there. I'm a talkative person. I know they can't talk to us but yeah, it's just nice having some people around. What's it like golfing with the number one group? Oh gosh, playing with a guy that went three down after like, what, five holes? That was, that was kind of intimidating. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Alrighty, we've got uh, Ezra Epperly, and I found out beforehand uh, that he is related to Anders Epperly. Now, we're not gonna hold that against him because he is with Flathead and not Big Fork, but uh, Ezra, with your game, uh, what was it today that you kind of struggled with and, and did you overcome it? Uh, I couldn't hit an iron worth anything today. Uh, my irons were just going left and right. I couldn't really control them, but it just stayed that way the whole day, and that's why I didn't play well at all. But my driver was going good, and I was putting really well, so that's kind of what saved me from shooting really high. Only two tournaments under your belt, uh, three total uh, days with golf. How do you feel early in the season? Uh, I feel pretty optimistic. that I didn't play well, really well up to my potential in any of these rounds. And if I just start getting more calm and get into the swing of the season, I can start pushing those numbers lower. What is it that you wanted to work on going into this season? Um, just you know, scoring and getting my balls, like making sure they're going down the fairway, and making sure that I'm just more consistent this year. Alrighty, and then finally, Joe Opitz of Missoula Sentinel. Now, Joe, uh, coming out of Great Falls last year, there was a, or last week. A lot of talk about your play, uh, number five overall with the boys over there, uh, and really kind of springboarded the Sentinel boys. Did you feel some pressure coming in this week? Uh, not really. I, no, not really. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Who was it from last year that you looked up to that you kind of wanted to grab the reins and take over what they were doing? Uh, Jack Johnson. He kind of was a good leader for us last year and kind of just 
always made sure everyone was like on the same page and playing well, I guess. So with the second tournament in, do you feel like you're filling those shoes? Not after, I mean, <laughs> eh, it's sort of, hard yeah, yeah. hard to say. Okay. You, you've got uh, the Bengals, the uh, Bulldogs, Flathead standing here with you. Where's Sentinel going to stand at the end of the season against these other schools? Oh, I'm not, well, it's kind of early to tell, but hopefully ahead and be the hope. But, yeah. <laughs> now, with Butte in the western side of AA, does that change the way things are for you guys, for Sentinel? Uh, I, I think it'll be fine, I think, because there's no, it's not like there's districts or anything this year, so really just all up to state which they were yeah <laughs> Alrighty, well we've got the top group right here with the boys uh we will be out at canyon river tomorrow with more mcps golf action this is chris stratton with the missoula prep sports network with the top group from today's action Welcome back to the Missoula Prep Sports Network. I'm Chris Stratton out here at Larchmont Golf Course. We've got the fading light as the first day of the MCPS invite is just finished up. We've got the number one group of girls. We've got uh, Marcella Mercer from Flathead, Jenny Kerr from Helena, Ella Priggy from Butte, and KK Lawrence from Capital. We'll go ahead and start with Jenny Kerr. Now, Jenny, your first day out here at Larchmont. Have you golfed Larchmont before? I have never played here. So what was the challenge for you today? Um, probably just staying consistent on both sides. I played really well on the back, but I kind of lost it on the front, so that was a little disappointing. So what is it you want to work on going into Canyon River tomorrow? Um, probably just staying consistent with my putts, being confident in every shot, and trying to get up and down as much as possible. Now, Marcella, we talked before coming on camera. You were out here last year. Uh, how does Larchmont compare to the Missoula Country Club? Uh, yeah, so Missoula Country Club has a ton of trees, and, like, it's very tight. So it's a lot more wide open here at Larchmont. Um, I mean, th the greens are both, I'd say, somewhat similar. They're pretty fast today. But other than that, I think it's really just the tightness of Missoula Country Club that differs from here. Now, last year we had a lot of moisture on both days. We actually had a rainy day on the first day. Uh, we had some wet weather going into the season this year. Were you kind of prepared for a possible rain golf days this year? Yes, I, I've traveled a lot this summer playing in different tournaments, and quite a few of them have had a lot of rain. So I'm used to it. I've played a lot of rain golf this year. What was the challenge for you today? Um, today, my ball striking wasn't great. Uh, we didn't get a ton of time to warm up today because we got there a little late. But, I mean, just kind of the first night I didn't hit the ball super well, and then the second night when I kind of just lost my short game. But, you know, other than that, I was, I was relatively good with both rounds. Alrighty, Ella, uh, last year the coaches got to come on course and do some coaching and, and work with you guys a little bit. This year, the parents get to come and be spectators. What was it like having some bodies on the course besides the golfers? I mean, honestly, it's a big change than it has been the past couple of years, but seeing them there, they're not bothering you, they're supporting you for the most part. It's kind of comforting in a way, I would say. Late afternoon golf round. Um, normally you guys start about one o'clock on the first day. Was it kind of a challenge having the later day and the heat? I mean, yeah, it was a little nerve-wracking because I wasn't sure if we were going to finish in time. I mean, it's pretty dark out right now, so that was a little tough, and then the light got weird towards the end of the day, but otherwise, I feel like the heat wasn't too big of a factor, but it felt pretty comfortable towards the end also, I'd say. Big turnaround. You got a late night tonight. I'm sure you guys probably want to go get something to eat, and then back up early, 8.30, first shot in the morning means you got, probably got to be at the golf course at 7. What, what are you going to do to prepare yourself for tomorrow tonight? Ooh, I don't know. I think I need to eat a good meal and uh, get as much rest as possible. Alrighty, and KK Lawrence from Helena Capital. Um, KK, coming into the tournament, uh, what was it that you wanted to build on today from last week? Um, I definitely just wanted to play so much better, but that didn't happen. <laughs> like, I just wanted to be able to make some putts and not do like three putts. But we did some fours, and it just didn't go too well. 
how did the other group do as far as helping you along, coaching you, and encouraging? Oh, they're very nice. They've helped a lot. <laughs> uh. That's a, yeah, it's a good, it's a good group. The, the most important thing about sports is having fun. Did that happen today? Uh, yeah, I always have fun on the golf course. <laughs> what is it? What do you want to improve on tomorrow at Canyon River? Um, making it to the green, not rolling off of there. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. Well, congratulations, girls, on your first day. Go to Canyon River tomorrow. I'll be back out tomorrow at Canyon River. We'll have a little earlier start as we'll have our live stream at about noon tomorrow. Chris Stratton from Larchmont Golf Course on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Stratton with the Missoula Prep Sports Network here at Canyon River Golf Course for the second day of the MCPS invite and I'm here with the Big Sky representative Kevin Harvey. Now uh, you golfed yesterday over at Larchmont. This is your home courses. How did you do at Larchmont com yesterday compared today with Canyon River? Uh, yesterday at Larchmont I did not do very well. I definitely could have done better. I just had a few bad holes and today I really got it together and shot noticeably better score so that was good now going in last night you guys played later than you normally do you actually came off the course at sunset then you jump back right back into it at 8 30 this morning uh, what did you do to prepare yourself and what was golfing like this morning compared to last night well it was pretty similar because I'm used to doing both like when we travel to other places we usually start like mid-afternoon like one ish so it didn't really phase me that much playing into the the night that late and then getting up early I'm also used to that because we do that all the time here so it wasn't much to get used to. What was something that you wanted to improve on this year from last year coming into the season? Uh, Just score really like last year I wasn't doing bad but like on the green and around the green so chipping putting that's what I needed to improve on and I, I think I've done pretty well with that so far. You guys have a couple of tournaments in now. Great Falls last weekend, Missoula this weekend. How's Big Sky Golf look for the year? Um, we're looking pretty good. We have a young team. I'm the well. There's only two seniors, and the one has been gone for the first two tournaments. So it's been me and then two sophomores. So I think they, we have a bright future for the team. But this year, it's going to be a little rough. All righty, Chris Stratton with the Missoula Prep Sports Network at Canyon River for the day, second day of the MCPS invite. Chris Stratton with the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we've got day two of the 2019 MCPS invite and we've got Macy Greenwood from Corvallis High School with us. Now Macy, yesterday you guys played over at Larchmont. Larchmont was a little difficult for everybody. You come into an early morning game over here at Canyon River. What is it about Canyon River that you like? Um, I like how open it is, very um, very open fairways. You, you can get in trouble, but not really, and the greens are super nice. It's just a good course. So compared last year um, to this year, you're a sophomore going into your sophomore year. What was it that you wanted to kind of prepare yourself and, and work on this year? Uh, my biggest thing was to work on like my body language on the golf course if I have a bad shot, not to get too upset about it and to like, I don't know, focus more on um, the just staying, keeping my mental focus all the way through the round because I tend to lose focus and then go downhill. <laughs> Who was a golfer from last year, you coming in for your freshman year, that you wanted to kind of emulate and play like they did? Was there any anybody specific from last year that you kind of wanted to play up to their level? Yeah, Trisha Joy, she was very good. She set set a good example for me. Um, I I hung with her during state, so it just showed me what I what I could get to. But she's super good and she's a good player. Favorite course to play in the state? Um, I like the Country Club. Lot. Were you kind of bummed out that we didn't play there this year and that you're at Larchmont? Yeah. I, that one's just a good course. It fits my game pretty good, and it's a really it's a super nice course, which I like nice courses. So, yeah, it was good. All righty. Chris Stratton with Missoula Prep Sports Network. Day two, the final day of the MCPS invite with Macy Greenwood. Chris Stratton with the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we've got the second day of the 2019 
MCPS invite, and we've got one of our local young men. That would be Bryce Reed of Hamilton. Bryce, you're a senior this year. How did the Missoula or the MCPS invite treat you this year? It was better than before. I've always seemed to struggle at this tournament, but then this year I came out and played pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it could be better, but that's golf. Guys had a very late afternoon over at Larchmont yesterday, uh, uh, going in, a lot of kids coming in at sunset, and then you guys turn right back around and you've got sunrise right back here at Canyon River. What do you do to prepare yourself for such a quick turnaround? Uh, well, I slept on the way home, so that helps, and then you just got to get to bed and make sure you're all rested and hydrated for sure. After walking 18, you got to make sure you're hydrated and it makes you tired. As a senior, what is it you want to leave behind for the younger golfers? What kind of example do you want to leave? Uh, just uh, always stay positive with yourself. I know out on the golf course and in life, it gets really tough at some point. But I always want to teach them to, like, no matter what happens, there's always tomorrow and could be better. So just that legacy of just staying positive with yourself. What's the 2019 golf season look like for Hamilton? Uh, we're looking pretty good. People seem to underestimate a little just because we're a little younger, two freshmen on our team, but those two freshmen have been stepping up for the tournaments we've had so far, and it's really exciting to see them, so it should be a good year. Outside of winning a championship for a state title, what's your goals for your senior year? Uh, just uh, teach those freshmen and keep our legacy going of always being known as like the team that's very like mature and always like respectful to everybody and so it's just kind of teaching them our ropes and how we do things in Hamilton. All righty, Chris Stratton with Missoula Prep Sports Network out at Canyon River with Bryce Reed. We'll be back in just a few moments. Chris Stratton here with the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we're out at the second day of the MCPS invite and I've got Sentinel golfer, girls golfer, Sophie Farrow. Sophie, uh, second day, you guys had a little bit of struggle getting through Larchmont, talking to a lot of the golfers. Uh, yesterday's golf uh, game over at, at Larchmont, it's your home course, but did you struggle a little bit? A little bit I did, yeah, but um, I think everybody, including myself, pulled around today and we all improved a bit. So, What was the thing that you think you improved on the most? I would say my short game for sure. I think I was a little more focused and so that improved a bunch. Now, I know that there are a few girls with the program this year, but you were the lone girl golfer this weekend. Does it put a lot of pressure on your shoulders? Um, not really. I think, honestly, there'd be more pressure if the other girls were playing because um, I'm mostly just playing for myself since my score won't matter for the team, so it's not too much pressure. Not bad. First year with spectators, parents being out on the course, uh, how did, did you take that into a factor or was it just a normal game? It doesn't bother me too much. I just kind of pretend I'm not there. So, what is uh, the goal? I I know that you guys aren't playing for points right now, but what is a goal for Sentinel Girls Golf this year? Um, I think getting the other girls to go out and play the tournaments. They're all um, improving, so I think by the end of the season we'll have a full team. For you personally, coming into this year, what was one thing that you wanted to work on? Um, my short game, actually, which has improved a lot this year from last year. I think that was where most of my strokes were last year and not so much this year. So, you guys had a couple of great golfers last year at the varsity level. Who was it that stood out that you wanted to mimic or, or try to step up to their game? Definitely Emily Garden, yeah. She was a really good golfer and just a really nice person. Um, uh, that was someone I really strived to be like and still do. Already, Chris Stratton here with Missoula Prep Sports Network and Sophie Farrow of Sentinel High School. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush! MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. We'll